It's wet. Like a dead... I shouldn't make jokes like that. Oh, one of these days I'm gonna get better at life. Bye guys, thank you. It is cold, rainy, wet here in North Louisiana. Oh, we got a store full. Stand by. Warm and dry and well lit back here in this office. So what this video is about is patience. That is the one thing that comes up. Like, like it's like the last thing that, that really comes up in someone's progression, or at least in mine personally. You know, I was always hip to timing things right, but sometimes waiting is the best answer. And this is a direct opposite of what happened the night that I was trying to launch that Xeno paraglider and got all out of wind and hypoxic. I, I guess I was hypoxic. My brain wasn't working right. I wasn't thinking, wasn't working. This flight, I was fresh. I was fresh, I put out wind socks, and I just waited until I saw something I liked. Made a beautiful launch, no problem. It was a short flight. I had some uh, students, parents show up, and I landed and got to work doing stuff with them. But I just wanted to talk with you briefly here for a moment about patience. I may have told this story, I don't remember, but there was one time I was on the mountain, and this was several years ago, and some of my friends had just launched, and I was ready to get out there and fly. You know, the whole get there itis thing kind of comes into play. The wind was swirling around, and I'd pull the glider up, and I would wreck my inflation and have to rebuild my wall, and I tried it again and tried it again, and I would turn, and then I'd have a collapse, and just like a fumbling mess. We've all seen it out there on the mountain. Somebody trying to go, trying to go, can't do it, messing up, messing up. And my instructor, God bless him, Britton, said, uh, Kyle, he said, slow down. He said, just stop. He said, stop, build your wall, and wait. He said, have a little patience. And I did. So I stood there, and I looked down the mountain, and I watched the trees and the wind and the birds and the, the wind indicators, and they all lined up and I had a perfect breeze come through about 30 seconds later. And had I just stood there for the previous five minutes instead of fumbling, 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 I would have been relaxed, better state of mind, more in tune to what the conditions were doing. So I pulled the glider up, made a turn, and then just did a beautiful launch right off the mountain. But right then it kind of hit me like I need to treat this differently. I need to treat this like every move is important and I need to wait to make the right move. Like a regular golfer versus Happy Gilmore, you know? Not everybody can do it Happy Gilmore style. If, if a good golfer tries, they mess up, right? I mean, the, the, what I'm getting at is there's maybe one rare case where somebody can just throw their stuff up in the air and go for it. And I've done it a few times, but most of the time, a golfer will walk up to the ball and they will get position. They will wait for their moment, get ready, backswing, pop. And a good golf swing, and I'm not a golfer, I just, I find that it's a good analogy for an inflation and then a launch. So if you do it right, it looks good. And if you do it wrong, it looks bad. But the biggest takeaway here is patience. Time in your launch cycle and waiting for the right moment to do what you need to do. So. I'm gonna let you watch the video. It's not very long. It's maybe six, seven minutes. And then you tell me what you think about it. Do you have patience? Have you ever waited to go? Have you pushed something and hurried something along and messed up because of it? I know I have, but that's part of the learning process. But if I could relay that bit of information to you here now and save you years of struggle and turmoil, then this video was worth making. I hope you enjoy it. So it occurred to me that I was not finished having my talk about patience. Now I talk specifically about having patience during the launch cycle, right? But this can come up anywhere in your life. And specifically during paragliding, the place where I see people struggle with having patience the most at first is gear acquisition. Some people immediately want to buy their paramotor. Buy the paramotor buy someone, something, just buy something. I'm ready to get into this, I'm gonna get something. And I know the excitement, I've been there. I've wanted to do it myself and I know right where you're at if you're the one that I'm talking to. But if you'll just have a little bit of patience and just wait, maybe you'll get that better deal. Maybe you'll learn something about the gear that you were gonna get. You know, there's something wrong with it. It's not, it's old, outdated, it's heavy, unreliable, whatever, whatever the reason. If you'll just have that little bit of patience before you make your first purchase, it goes a long way. There's a saying here in the drugstore, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So 
if you'll just wait and prevent spending that money immediately, maybe you can save that money on the back end. Maybe you spend a little bit more and get, you know, nicer gear, more modern gear, safer gear. Then if you spent half that money and got some stuff that was kind of sketchy on the, on the sketch scale, old, worn out, out of trim, busted, hard to crank, you know, I've seen everything. I, I, I've not seen everything. I've seen a lot of stuff come through my school that people have bought and brought with them. And I just, I always kind of cringe like, man, if you would have waited, you'd have that $2,000, that $3,000 in your pocket that could go towards some gear like this that you just learned to fly. Inevitably, they know, they know, and they're just like, oh, but it was a good deal, but I saved money. Did you really save money? Something to think about. But again, patience, having just a little bit of, of forethought and just waiting, just wait. Wait on your proper training, wait on getting your first gear. Just a little patience. That's all it takes, guys, and your paramotoring will be much more successful. My first flight back since my crash. So let's do it. Situation. I'm sitting out here at Spring Hill Airport. I've got some students inbound. They'll probably pull up about the time I clip in. That never fails. I got the Xeno laid out. The winds are cycling every which direction. It's very, very nil right now. Just thermal activity is all. I don't have anything else going on. Yeah, maybe I won't wear myself to a pulp this time like I did the other night. I put wind indicators out. Why not? Why was I being stupid the other night? I couldn't tell you. I don't know if it was stupidity, laziness. I thought I had indicators. I thought I had smoke. And I did, but oh no, now there's no wind. <laughs> so funny. Every single time. Dead zero. But I'm going to be patient and I'm going to wait. And I'm just not going to go until it's right. I'm going to go ahead and clip in and stand here. And I'll just wait. If students pull up, I'll unclip and let them fly. That's what it's looking like on my end. How are you guys doing? Tell me in the comments below. How's your winter been? This is December 26th. North Louisiana, Spring Hill Airport. It's t-shirt weather. It's been t-shirt weather a lot this year. I'm super pumped about that. Let's get this speed bar hooked up. I need some of those Brummel covers that keep them from, uh, that keep them from uh, coming undone. Cause that's the big scary part of flying with a motor and speed bar is that the Brummel hooks come undone. And then you're stuck with, uh, oh look, it's coming out of the West now. That's lovely. Let's go ahead and crank this thing up. All right, clear. Wow, no gloves even. What a nice day. I think we're about past the break-in on this thing. The majority of the wind that I saw a while ago was out of the south. Now everything is showing southwest, which is toward the trees. I'm gonna give it a minute though. I'm just gonna give it a minute until I get something I like. I'm not gonna try to force it. I forced it the other night and it cost me a couple propeller tips and a piece of string. Oh yeah, this is a test flight too, to check to see if my mods are gonna be uh, legit or not. We'll find out. I'm gonna stand here with the A's in my hands, even grasp, and I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait until I get something that that I like. And that should be the move every time. Goose the motor occasionally, make sure that it is ready for power. See it stuttered there when I hit full power. Now the wind's shifting and it's coming more out of the south. I'm gonna wait for this one. To, oh, this is coming out of the north. Huh, we got the wind socks pointing toward each other. That's hilarious. Oh wait, no, that they're both, okay, they're both coming out, it's coming out of the west, and that was coming out of the north. Spinning back around. Watch it do a full circle. Feel this wind right here, it's a straight up tailwind. I'm laid out into a straight tailwind. Ain't nobody got time for that. I called this, didn't I? I said when I hook in, everything's gonna change direction, or did I not have the camera on yet? So a light and variable day, we're dealt with the same thing we had the other day. I didn't really like the thermals, and you can kind of see what I was describing here, how each little thermal is just kind of bubbling straight up, and they're not really coming together. If you get a little bit of wind, like a meteorological wind, what they call the Mateo wind, that's the way the air mass is moving. The thermals are winds that are happening amongst that even, the micro meteorology, and that's what we're looking at here, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing these little bitty thermals thermals are just coming straight up they're turning into a kumi and they're not drifting and getting together with anywhere it seems like if everything drifts and moves the thermals can get together they can kind of coalesce but that's what you don't you don't see that on a zero day this is another zero day that we're dealt here okay now that one's zero we got no wind there we got like five mile an hour out of the west here but i'm just gonna wait i'm just gonna wait goose it a little bit 
Come on. Okay, it's got a trickle of south in it. Is that gonna stand out? Is that gonna stand out? Are we gonna get a little south, a little south action maybe? That's looking promising. Maybe the patience is gonna pay off. Just standing here, waiting, getting the occasional. Oh yeah, look at that cycle. That shit's coming right at me and I'm laid out for it too. I see this one starting to poke around a little bit. Do I feel any on my face? I'm feeling for it. I got my eyes closed. My arm hairs are exposed. Okay, I feel a little something now. I feel a little something now. Oh, I'm liking this. Oh, the sun's poking out. Okay. I think that may be enough to do a, uh, a light wind reverse inflation. How's the terrain looking behind me? It looks pretty good. I'm gonna go for it. Let's go for it. That. I came off the ground a little quick. I had to keep running. That's what you call time in your cycle for a launch. Now, we're gonna cruise around in our t-shirt for a little while. <laughs> I ain't seeing any air traffic. That's a good thing. So how do you like the sound of the new microphone, guys? Make a comment below about that too. We'll just take some comments on this video. Questions? Maybe ask a question and if you, uh, ooh, get a little lift, a little lift, a little sink. I ain't trying to thermal today either. I'm just flying around. Just like boredom flying, waiting. Waiting on my students, wanted to practice a light wind launch into a, a nice little cycle. I did that. Nice big flat pancakey clouds. I bet those are nice to be under. I ain't going up that high though, I will get cold up there. Ooh, the wake shift, little turn action. There we go. Oh, maybe that was my students over there. Check it. Maybe I'll speed bar my way to them. Let's deploy this sucker right here. Making some penetration now. And let's come off of the speed bar a little bit. Oh, into a thermal. How about that? Let's see if we can't do a landing down here. How about it? Get over that mud hole. <laughs> nice. What's up, guys? So that's that, guys. I hope you liked the video. Consider thumbing it up, thumbs down. If you never wait, if you throw it out there and launch with only one riser clipped in, every time in the rain i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you took something away from it and i hope you subscribe and like and look for the next one much love everybody kyle out